because I, I see a big problem with masculinity in this nation. I see a big problem with men. I think modern men in this country, not all, because they're they're great men. I've served, you know, serving in the Marine Corps was one of the most amazing things I will ever yeah. take with me in my life. Like it was an honor to meet all the men I met. You meet some of the coolest fucking people. coolest dudes, solid hardcore motherfuckers. But as a whole, not not the Marine Corps, but as a whole, just in general, right now in this 2019. What we got going on? I'm not trying to get too much in politics, but I see a lot of pussies right now. <laughs> oh, dude, there's there's pussies on both sides. To be honest with you. Oh, there I mean, there there are. If, if we want to get into a like a left and right kind of oh, thing. Oh no, I'm not even going dude, left and right. There's vaginas on both sides. It's it is everywhere, and I see it as a disease, because a mental disease, because it's who is man? What is he meant to be? Yeah. That's, that's why I wanted to bring it. That's why I kind of thought of that quote real quick. Um, Cause that means a lot to me. And that's again, back to what I was trying to say is that's fine. I, I, I have a trailer. I sleep in a trailer. I've done plenty of sleeping in tents. I've also done plenty of sleeping just straight up under the stars, Yeah. you know, other than just being in a bag. Um, so again, you, People got to get out there and just try stuff. Do you think that uh, the whole masculinity issue that we or crisis that we have, is that just because there's there's just not enough positive like male role models out there anymore? Um, boy. I mean, you think about like who who we're we're boy we're about to go we're about to go down a real well, deep well, rabbit okay, hole. No, dude, I'm, okay. I'm cool with this. We're I'm just both, saying we're, we're real far away. We're both we're both '80s babies. We grew up in the heyday of fucking. Chuck Norris and Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone action movies. I and like I think about this a lot because um, it's hard to to say it's one thing. Like we just fix this one thing, it'll make everything better. Oh no, it's, it's a it's a com- li- yeah. life is one complex equation that's constantly changing. There's all kinds of variables. But I, if I had to kind of say what is the most important, I would say it's leadership. I say there is a significant lack of strong male leaders. And then if I can even kind of dissect that even more, I'd say I fucking hate political correctness with a passion. Oh, absolutely. Um, that is fucking... I don't want to go down that hole in this talk because that literally is a podcast or a podcast on its own. Yeah, no, um, we don't. Uh, we don't ever really try to delve too deep into yeah, politics but but it's um, it's one of those things that i always think about because it's like you know when you're like in a wheelchair you lose a little bit of your masculinity and it's like that's kind of the initial shock is like you know my i i disagree i think it if you look at the right way it can help bring it out more well i mean okay so like when you first were initially hurt you I mean there's no denying that you you had questions about your own masculinity like how am i ever going to able to like you know, protect my family or do this and do that. And like, you lose, you lose that piece until you, no, until you figure think, it out again. Right. I think, well, yeah. I think what, that's what, that's what I was trying to get at is like, I think I, I it brings, it brings up questions about your masculinity. I understand what you're saying, but I think it's more like you're just being challenged. Yeah. And that, and through challenge comes growth, I so, guess. So okay. You're, so you're, a you're, better way to say it is like you, you have, you question your masculinity and, and like, are you ever going to be able to do this? And, and things that a man can do that's but then it's figuring out like yeah i can still fucking do that i just have to do it a different way that's why it's that's in my uh my opinion a man has to test himself has to absolutely and so i'm not gonna try to sound all i don't care honestly i don't care if i sound arrogant right now i truly believe a man has to it you don't have to be a hunter, a fisherman, a sportsman. That's that's fine if you don't care. But you do have to spend some legit time in the wilderness to really to discover who you are. I think you have to spend some part of your life at some point in the wilderness. I think we're genetically wired to respond to stressors. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like in the woods, but you you have you have to like be willing to submit yourself to certain stresses to enable that growth so you know what i mean 
I, I'm a very spiritual person, and I'm not going to like to deb- debate about religion right now. It's fun. It's not what I'm here for. But something I want to bring up when I talk about being in the wilderness is I'm Christian, and there are many people, regardless of what you believe, if you believe in God or if you don't believe in God, fine. But whether reli- you're religious or you're atheist, if you believe in evolution, they all point to one same thing. We didn't. We were not. Yes, the families we were born to. Man came from the wild. Oh yeah. Therefore, to find ourselves, we have to go back to it. Yeah. No, I mean, and, I and and that doesn't change whether I, you believe I agree in the Bible, in you believe in the Quran, you believe in Darwinism. Guess what? Man came from the earth in the wild. Society, cities are something that we create to make life more comfortable, to make life easier. You, yeah. You, and that's why, and I, I love hearing, like, actually, like, on, on listening to Meat Eater, and you hear all these hardcore hunters, the guys like Cameron Haynes talk about how hunting is, like, spiritual for them. Damn straight it is. You know, you're getting back to the root of who you are as a man. And so that's not to go too far off the rockers, but again, we talk about um, problems with masculinity and stuff like that. You know, I don't say there's one uh, perfect solution, but I do think a big step forward is more people need to get away from the Internet, the cell phones, the TV. Just all the different screens. Just all yeah. that crap. They need people need to detox. People need to go out in the woods and just, I mean, not take not, don't take anything with you. Like obviously the gear you need to survive, but don't bring your fucking cell phone. Yeah. Don't, don't bring your Game Boy. Leave the uh, leave the internet at home. Right. Don't don't even pull out your phone to listen to a podcast. Go and fast in the wild. You know, detox. Fi- figure out life. People need to be comfortable in their own brains and their own minds. And that's why, again, not to go on a tangent, but we're having a lot of mental uh, health issues in this nation right now. A lot of people are very uncomfortable in their own minds. And when you're out in the wild, you have to get comfortable. 